All right, good morning on this Saturday, Tennessee Valley. We're waking up to more cold temperatures out there. 36 degrees officially in Chattanooga. That's one of the warmer spots on the map. The humidity not too bad actually this morning, thanks to these temperatures being close to the dew point, which is to measure how much moisture is in the air. It's 32 degrees currently in Dalton, 33 in Calhoun, 28 degrees in Cleveland. So as you can tell, yes, we do have some of these numbers that are down at or below freezing, 28 degrees in Dayton, 30 in Athens and 25 degrees in Murphy this morning. So right here in the Tennessee Valley and points to the north and east here, right along the spine of the Appalachian Mountains, we still have a little bit of cold air that's just kind of entrenched into the area. But overall, we're starting to see that southwesterly wind pumping in some warmer air to our north. So it's in the 50s up towards Indianapolis. Meanwhile, we're still stuck in the 30s. But that's all going to change as we go throughout today because we're going to start off on the chilly side this morning. But with lots of sunshine and a light southwesterly wind, that's going to pump our temperature temperatures up into the upper uh, 50s by lunchtime. We'll be right around 60 degrees then and we'll be into the lower 70s I think by late this afternoon with lots of sunshine across the area. So again, should be an overall beautiful Saturday across most of the Tennessee Valley. We'll go with an official high of about 72 degrees in Chattanooga and Dalton, about 71 degrees in Cleveland, 70 in Athens, 72 in Scottsboro and 73 degrees in Fort Payne, upper 60s over towards the Blue Ridge and also up along the plateau. Now tonight, we're going to see a couple of extra clouds building into the area. It's not going to produce any precipitation, but those clouds may be just enough to kind of help keep temperatures up a little bit in most of the area. So we're going to expect those temperatures to drop down into the low to mid 40s across the valley areas and the 30s. I think will be confined to mainly eastern areas here, but still it's going to be another chilly night overall. Now, as far as the drought goes, again, we've got this extreme drought across most of the Tennessee Valley now, and this is only going to get worse unless we see any uh, some beneficial rainfall. We're over seven inches now below where we should be for the year and over seven and a half inches below where we should be just since September the 1st. In fact, we just wrapped up a the second driest two month period of September and October on record here in the Tennessee Valley, and it uh, doesn't look like that's going to change pretty much for us anytime soon. So the drought, of course, leads to this high fire danger, which we're going to experience again for us today. It affects obviously the lawns and the gardens out there, making things very dry and crisp and crunchy out there across the area. It affects the farms and across the crops that are going to be kind of being taken care of. And it also affects the fall foliage. And you've probably already noticed that the colors are a little more muted out there now, and that's going to be the trend here as of course we just don't have a lot of moisture in place to really help with those crops. And something else it's doing is, is obviously creating lower water levels there in a lot of our creeks and streams in some of our local neighborhoods. So what that then does in turn is affects uh, certain fish and animals that are beginning to feel the impacts of this drought situation. So a lot going on in terms of our local effects from the drought, and it's something that we need to take care of. And as far as any beneficial rainfall heading our way, I just don't see it over the next week or so. We're talking maybe a trace to a tenth of an inch of rainfall, and this is actually through the next five to seven days. So as you can see, uh, not a lot of high rain chances expected across the area to really help with that drought situation. So let me show you your storm alert seven day forecast. We'll go with about 72 degrees for that high today with lots of sunshine, a few clouds moving in late tonight into early Sunday, but that's not going to produce much in the form of any precipitation. 74 though for your Sunday and then notice a warming trend Xavier as we head into next week. In fact, could be near record high temperatures again by the time we get towards Tuesday. So the roller coaster of temperatures going up and down will continue here in the area.